So hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is VizXBL and these are the top 3 things of why I'm actually so hyped for Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and I just thought I'd make today's video on that. So now we are less than 9 days away from the game release, uh, I mean 9 or 8 days, I I'm not even sure guys, but now let's get into this video. So now the first thing, in the beta the flinch was a very big thing, especially if you want a uh, bad connection, the flinch would be absolutely huge where it would knock your shot off so bad that you actually was no way you were coming back and toughness isn't in the game and neither is focus proficiency for your weapon from M 3 so there is no way of actually being immune to flinching but now this has actually been fixed by them limiting to how much you can flinch doesn't matter what the connection is you can only flinch a certain amount which is an absolutely great thing but I would still rather see the toughness perk or some sort of uh, perk equivalent to that in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 but anyways guys, now let's get into the second thing. Now the second thing is reimagined maps from Call of Duty Black Ops 1 and World at War being put into the DLC for Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Now, I could name so many good good and amazing maps that I actually enjoyed years and years ago when then games were in their prime. And I would really like to see some of them reimagined and I think those maps and people will know what they are. So I'm going to bother getting into them. Now the last thing is the best thing now basically the movement the movement was a very big thing that stopped me from playing call of duty advanced warfare and that is just if you didn't get to play the beta honestly it's literally it's nothing like um call of duty advanced warfare's movement if that's what put you off the game uh, it's actually insane i think the flinching was more like annoying than uh the movement within the beta and the movement honestly it's not annoying at all but to be honest the wall running is amazing it gets you around the map so good uh, and it doesn't really put you at a disadvantage because like Wonder Hoss said before the beta was out it's it's sort of the type of game that where your gun is always up in the battle and I don't know I just really think that uh, the movement just fits in well with Call of Duty Black Ops 3 but I suppose that was just a beta we got to play it for like a few days and I think when the game fully comes out, that's when you know the movement will you'll really get to decide what it's like. But in the beta was not really a big deal. I think like the first two days of playing Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, I decided I actually did not like the game. Just judging from the movement. So anyways, thanks guys for watching. I've been VizXBL and I'm out peace. We'll catch you guys later.